Okay. Anywho. Enough of that. Uh, we are going to be doing an item tier list for the new items added with the Secrets of the Storm DLC. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump right into it, shall we? So, Antler Shield, I actually think is a pretty good item if you can stack it. If you can get enough stacks, it's basically 100% uh, of the time it'll redirect, it won't redirect, but it'll, it's basically like thorns in Minecraft. If you take damage, the attacker will take damage as well. Uh, and if you get enough stacks, it's 100% of the damage that they take back. So I'm going to say A tier. I think that's a solid A tier item, personally. Uh, the Bolstering Lantern? I don't know. Uh, it gives you a damage boost. It gives you a damage boost <laughs> if um, you're below 50% HP, which is good. Like, the damage boost is good. I think it's like 20% or something, and it goes up with each stack. Uh, but. Being below 50 HP, 50% uh, HP is a little scary. And I don't really want to be below 50% HP at any moment. <laughs> so I'm going to say. Yeah, I'll say a B tier. Like, honestly, middle of the road item. Like, if I get it, I'm not going to complain, but I would probably prefer to have other items. Uh. Chronic Expansion, on the other hand, I would say maybe another A tier item because um, it works really well if you get a uh, Forgive Me Please. Or is that the name of the item? Hang on. <laughs> yeah, Forgive Me Please. Throw a Cursed All Out that triggers any on kill effects. So you could have. Uh, Chronic Expansion and a Forgive Me Please synergizing really well together and giving you a damage boot buff. So, yeah, I'd say another A tier item, honestly. Uh, knockback Fin? Uh, I'm just gonna say it. Probably the worst item in the DLC. <laughs> um, all it does is knocks enemy like has a chance to knock enemies up into the air and it doesn't even knock them up that high into the air and also uh, it doesn't like stun them or anything so they can still attack you while they're up in the air i could be wrong i like like maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm just missing something about it but I, every time i get it i usually scrap it uh the warped echo I'd say is actually a pretty good, maybe like high B, low A item for me. I'll say low A because um, what it does is it'll take the damage you take uh, and split it in half uh, and give it to you, give you that damage in two instances. So you'll take... Uh, Let's say I take 100 damage, I'll take 50 damage, and then three seconds later, I'll take another 50 damage. So, combining that with a bunch of healing items and everything, you basically take no damage. Like, it, it basically just cuts your damage in half, which is very nice. Um, and now on to the green items with the chance doll. Uh, once again, I think another A tier item, personally. It uh, just increases the chance of getting a better rarity item when you successfully uh, roll a chance shrine. Nothing to say else, really. It's just a good item, I think. Uh, I forgot the name of this item, but I'm going to say it's like a C tier, maybe B tier. Uh, what it does is once you use your secondary skill, it's niche. That's what I'm going to say. It's a niche item for very specific survivors, I think. Uh, what it does is when you use your secondary skill, 
Uh, it will empower your next uh, primary skill usage. So like something I did find kind of cool was on Railgunner. Uh, if you just use her scope, it will count as using a secondary uh, for her. So you could like scope in, then unscope, then shoot a primary and it would be empowered for her. So I think on Railgunner, it's kind of good, but eh, it's just kind of meh. Like, and it doesn't do that much more damage. So, Noxious Thorn. Uh, 25% chance on being hit to inflict enemies in a 30 meter radius with two, one per stack, stacks of bleed. If the enemy are already infected with one or more stackable debuffs, add one to those debuffs instead. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty decent item. It's good on characters, I'd say, like Acrid or something that are wanting to stack a bunch of debuffs on their on the monsters. So I'd say once again, maybe I B low A. I'm going to I'm going to put it in A tier. OK, uh, prayer beads. Once again, I'd say another maybe. Well, I'd say C tier, actually, for prayer beads, because it's just kind of there. Uh, what it does is it converts some of your experience into stats. But to get those stats, you need to scrap the item. So it's just kind of meh. Like, uh, I usually don't really like I'm not super excited to get prayer beads all that often. Uh, Sail star S tier. You just get more items. <laughs> I, I think Sailstar is honestly a really good item. Uh, and what it does is um, it'll make the first chest you open on a stage, and that includes like your lockbox and stuff, uh, grant double items. And that also, the more Sailstars you stack, the higher the chance it actually will drop more than two items with that chest. So Sailstar, I think, is an easy S tier. Uh, the teleporter, unstable, unstable transmitter. I'd say high B. It, it, it has saved me quite a few times. Uh, and what it does is it'll teleport you away when you get low health. And it, ha and it'll deal damage around where you teleported away from. Uh, I think it's a... I'd, I'd say it's a decent item. Uh, like I said, it has saved a couple of my runs uh, because I was able to teleport away and then heal up and get back into the fight. Uh, so yeah, I'd say decent item. It can be a little annoying. Like, I think it didn't ruin the run, but there was one time where I had it teleport me in the void fields. Uh, and that was a little scary. So yeah, I'd say B tier. Uh, the boomerang. It has a chance to shoot out. Yeah, 15% chance on a hit to fire an electric boomerang that travels a short distance before returning and dealing 30% uh, damage and stunning all enemies hit. It's pretty good. I'd say maybe a, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. We'll say A tier. A lot of items in the A tier. <laughs> uh, this one. <laughs> Growth Nectar. While benefiting from five plus unique buffs, gain 20% bonus stats for five seconds. I haven't really gotten to play with this item all that often, but it just sounds like a death mark, but buffing you instead of debuffing the enemies. So I'd say... Yeah, maybe... I'll say high B for now. Like I said, I personally haven't really played with it all that often. Like, I haven't gotten it all that often. So... I could, once again, this is could be one I'm wrong on, but I feel like I'm going to say B tier. Uh, the 
What's this one called again? Hang on. Runic Lens. Uh, I, I had this in a run and I, maybe it just wasn't triggering it correctly or something, but it just, like it says, it sounds really good. Overspill, 5% chan five chance uh, on hit to summon a meteor on the target, dealing 2,000% damage. That sounds really good. 1% per 100% done on the initial hit, plus 1% per item stack. Yeah, like, it sounds good. Just sounds like more damage. But it also sounds kind of rare to happen. So I'd say maybe another B tier, personally. Uh, Sonorous Whisper, another S tier item. Uh, it makes every single boss drop an item even if they don't spawn from the teleporter or anything uh and makes elites drop items a lot so yeah i'd say another s tier item just more items uh the war bond is what i think it's called yeah war bonds uh basically just more money at the start of a stage I'd say that's it's a decent item. Maybe, yeah, I'll say B tier. Just more money at the start of the stage. It's pretty good, but also kind of meh. Uh, the new lunar item, which is called, hang on, Long Standing Solitude. This one, once again, I think I'm going to put it in D tier. It converts all your gold into experience. And when you level up, you get a free unlock of something. And that does stack so you get more unlocks with each level, but you still have to level up. And the further you are into the run, the harder that becomes. So maybe a decent early game item, but is nah, I, I really don't like it. Uh, the new equipment item, Seed of Life. Uh, this version, like the unused version, I'd say is an S tier. Uh, basically just a free revive, like Dio's best friend, uh, for either you or your allies. Like, I think that's really good. Like, you could save it for yourself, or you can activate it and revive your dead teammates. I think that's a solid S tier item. As for the healing, the used version, this I think also I'm going to put into A tier. Another solid A tier item, I think, because it, uh, um, the, it drops a lot of healing orbs and the healing orbs it does drop, uh, I think actually heal quite a lot. So yeah, there we go. I think that's my Seekers of the Storm item tier list. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, thank y'all so much for coming out and hanging as long as you did. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying my stream outro. <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, this will be a YouTube video, so watch out for that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.